Matthias, we are running out of time. You know why? January is coming. What does it mean? End of support for NSX for vSphere. Can you... Can allow, me, allow me asking one question, Fabian. Great having you over. But allow me one question. What's wrong with you? Why January? It's February 2022, not January. Because if you're not ready in January, you will not be ready in February. That's true. If you aren't ready already, you won't be ready in the future. I'm ready to talk with you about NSX in general. And to be fair, what's the difference between NSX for vSphere and NSX T? I mean, it, it will run out of support at the beginning yeah. of next year. And we have, the, I don't know, the, the, the follow-up product, the same product in the next iteration. What is NSX T mm -hmm. compared to NSX V, NSX for vSphere? Mm -hmm. uh, great question. Um, NSX T is, from the wording perspective, it's the next NSX product. Okay, so good. But NSXT is not a better version of V, right? It's a separate product. It's completely developed from scratch. The only thing they two, they, uh, these two have in common is the name, NSX. That's it. Uh, so, for example, T is able to connect to multiple vCenter servers. And on the opposite, V and a vCenter server, they have a one-to-one -one relationship. So that's one of the biggest differences. Building a consistent network configuration across multiple vCenter server instances. Okay, thanks a lot for the for this clarification. But I mean, what what does it mean for us? We mm. across the globe, we we consult, we help service providers to who are utilizing mm. Cloud Director with NSX for vSphere. We we need to help them now to migrate over to T. So so what are things, design decisions that we need to yeah, consider here? Is it something where I say, yep. and on the next day we are migrated to T, or do we need to to put more effort into this? migration topic. It would be really cool having a tool just migrating everything over and that's it. Uh, based on the fact that T and V are two completely different products from scratch, there is no simple migration path from V to T. First of all, uh, you need to analyze all the services which are currently used. Uh, especially speaking about service providers, some services are configured from the SP side, other services might be configured from the customer side because within uh, Cloud Director you have something called a service delegation so it can enable customers to configure the, the services on themselves. Um, why, why is there such a difference between T and V? What, what's the reason for that yeah. technically? So the thing is the whole product itself works differently. Uh, short example, in V we have something called an edge. Right? We have the same thing in T, it's an edge and an edge cluster. Same name, two different things. An edge in V is a virtual machine instantiating network services, like NFV, network function virtualization. In T, an, a, an edge or an edge cluster instantiates T0 and T1 gateways, which are a distributed representation of an edge. That sounds awesome <laughs> complicated. I think we yeah, will need yeah. a light board on that topic, to be fair. We will, we will. Uh, Took me a lot of training to get that sentence straight. Yeah. Um, so be, being fair, we need to analyze the services on site, which services are in use. Are those services compatible with T? Can those be implemented in T, yes or no? Or might those services need to be implemented differently because of T? Other services and might not be supported anyway. And, and as always with NSX and Cloud Director, is this NSX functionality also available within Cloud Director? I mean, that was always the case. There is a great knowledge base article out there. I think we can paste the link somewhere yeah. here that, that shows you what is compatible. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Um, so what is the com division way? How can we help service provider across the globe to get from where they mm -hmm. are to the, to the desired yeah. state here? True. So there is a great tool with which collects all the information from the current infrastructure. It's provided by VMware. Um, please add a link here. And we use that tool and do a data collection. So we analyze the, the data. We do a manual analysis of the infrastructure because you need to figure out what is the process of implementation of certain services, who is responsible, is it the service provider, is it the customer, uh, which is unused. So it's a combination of tool data collection and manual analysis 
and all together is used to create a migration plan how to migrate workloads over from the v-based to the t-based infrastructure uh, so it sounds quite impressive especially the, the the target design we have multiple options for different use cases and we figure out a way what's kind of the best way to get from a to b so i would say if you are of any questions regarding this topic if you want to yeah just free, feel free to contact us uh, we we appreciate to to help you on this on this journey and yeah Thanks, Matthias, for having me here. Thanks um, for coming over. Great to be in Vienna after a long time of no traveling. I would say let's hit the beer garden once again. <laughs> so if you've seen multiple videos of us, it's not that we go to the beer garden every day, but we go to the beer garden every day. Anyway, I do. Wish, <laughs> wish you a pleasant uh, day and thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Um, have a nice one. Goodbye. Take care.